Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in our remote location. Guys, welcome back. Um, we had a power failure, so I had to find a remote location to work from to record the video for you today to get it out in time. And it has been, it's been crazy. We had a hell of a storm, but everybody's okay. We're all safe. And I still get to do this awesome Twinkle Tips Friday video for you. Let's get right, uh, started right away. If you haven't watched the video on the color curve, and that is what today's discussion is going to be on. The, I'm going to link the, the video up above here. Click the card up there and you can uh, check out that video. And it will go into way more depth. But what I want to share with you is not just about the color curve, but also I want to share with you about how the, the color curve can now be used in very interesting ways that I guarantee many of you have no clue have been added into X lights. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to break that open for you right now. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to show you is this is the X lights color wash effect. The color wash effect allows you to take multiple colors up here. See, boom, boom, boom. And it color, the color washes through the entire effect for the duration of the effect. I utilize this a lot in my sequencing. The thing is though, is, is that uh, you can do the exact same thing using a color curve. I'll activate a color curve for you real quick to do so. You right click on your any of the colors here and this opens up your color curve menu. Now again, I don't want to get into detail with this, but your X lights will have a handful of pre-made ones. You can select one in here and you can add it into uh, into your color palette. So once you have that, you're able to use that to sequence with, right? Well, the color wash and the color curve can work together exactly the same way. And you can see that here. This color curve is a white then red, then green. And that's also the same progression right here that you see on the screen right over beside it is the white, the red, and the green. If you're following me so far, why is this useful? This is the question, this is a great question. So if we go to the on effect, we've now effectively turned the on effect into having some of the abilities that the color wash has. The color wash effect can start from one color and merge to another. The color curve turns the on effect into the same thing. Subsequently, it turns every effect. You can change the on effect from this to let's say plasma in here. I'm doing this totally off the wall here. Uh, we want to do normal and we and if I add black, you can see it there. So there you go. You've got black and you've got the color curve that do kind of the same thing that you're used to seeing with the on effect. So let's go back to the on effect real quick. And I want to show you what you don't know already about the color curve in X lights. It is this little magical time device, this little clock that's found underneath of the color curve. And what I want you to do with this is I want you to begin playing with this because you're going to find some really interesting things. And while I was sequencing this week, this is exactly what happened. I cannot believe that whenever I was messing around with the color curve that uh, I, I turned in, I turned up to some of the things that I'm gonna show you. So this one I knew was in here and I didn't know exactly what good or use it was for. But as I begin to play with this, and this is what happens whenever you sequence or you work with X lights and colors especially, you start finding different uses and different needs for it. So let's click on this and just click on this a couple times. You'll see, hey look, if we change that clock and it's on the on effect and we change that clock and we, we change it to the arrow facing to the that way you get the progression of the color wash it shows here in the box now what if we right click on here we can adjust these we can grab this and move this all the way over here uh, and you always have to extend this out I don't understand this and you have because you can't grab this far right one whenever it's touching the side but now we've just updated it now see we updated how that color curve worked and now that more of the heavy white at the beginning then it changes to red for a brief time and then it uh, fades into green so you have this you have this ability now to change the uh, the lengths and duration and so forth which you always had but now you can visually see this now if we keep clicking on this arrow this clock that you don't see now it changes the direction and the facing or the placement of those colors according to the order that they were selected in in the color curve really interesting this was really interesting but this is where it gets fun bam as soon as you add in this little this little 
circular or gradient circle. This is a really interesting find. Like I, I was like, I was really surprised that this edition had been added in. And I again, I didn't initially find a necessary use for it until I began playing around with it. And this is why it's important for you guys to sit there and play with some things in x lights We'll go ahead and click a couple more times. Now it's reversed the color, so you see the green on the outside, the white on the inside, the red in the center. And then we have what is called the circular round effect. And so in essence, the white is the start, the red is the middle, and the green is the end. That's why there's a solid line there, because they're not gradient together. Uh, although maybe that's something they could consider adding. I don't know. Uh, you can then reverse it and have it go the opposite way. The green is the first, the red is the middle, and the white is the end. And then we're back to the beginning where uh, it, it holds its color for the duration of time that you've set it in in the color wash. Now, before I go off into another tangent, I want to show these other things for these other effects. So here is a single strand effect. Now, if we go with chase size, we'll, we'll cycle this out, make this a little bit thicker so that you can see this is the exact color wash that is on the, or color curve, excuse me, that's on the single strand effect. If I skinny these out a little bit, let's say, and we'll add two of them. Now you've got two of them, you can 3D fade it. So now you can see where maybe this could be something interesting. Now look, I know this is what you're, what you're all going to say is, but Clyde, you can already do that in x lights with, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll show you. I'll show you what you're gonna tell me that you can already do because you're gonna, you're, you're gonna mention it. Okay, yeah, you can do that. But that, that looks a whole lot different than that does, I guarantee it. And there's a lot more fun to be had by changing these arrows around to get different results. So what I'm saying is go, put this into x lights, plug it in, test it out, have some fun with it because that's what I did. I did that on the pinwheel effect. The pinwheel effect, I, and I didn't even, I wasn't even moving the pinwheel effect. I had it set to zero. I had one arm on here. And it was just as we move everything. So here we go. Oh, shit, I just have it. There we go. Okay. So, so here's the pin, here's the pinwheel effect. And what you see is, it's just the color curve curving over top of the, the, the uh, pinwheel. What happens when you start clicking some of these is, oh, look at this. It's starting to do that same kind of radiant, uh, radial bullseye type thing. And it's doing it to the fan effect. Like, that's rather cool. I didn't know that X-Lights could do that. I mean, if we try out some of these other ones, here's the rainbow one, you all get the rainbow. Now that one, you could go in and click it around a couple times, see what happens. Look at how it changes it. It can change it in different directions. It can have it fan out in certain ways. I mean, that is really, really cool. And I almost can guarantee you, most people haven't even tried this before. I, hell, I just threw it on there and it just did it. So the last one I wanna show you is the bars effect. Now, again, I picked two colors. I picked the black color and I picked uh, the red, green, white. And you can change those up once again. Now, is that exciting? Well, to me, it's exciting. It's exciting because it's another option in X Lights that I guarantee 95% of you guys had no idea was in there. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Well, that's everything I have for you today, guys. Thank you for joining us. I really hope you liked this video. This was a ton of fun and really exciting to see. I couldn't dedicate a whole webinar to this. This isn't it, it isn't that uh, detailed, but it's something that you can start playing with right now. So with that being said, we really hope you like the video. Please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and, and please comment in the video section below. Did you know this was in here? How many of you did? If you didn't say, Clyde, bug off, we already knew this. Or if you didn't, just say, hey, that's new, that's cool, I'm gonna play with it, that's something exciting. And one last announcement, Pixel Pro Displays has teamed up with Dan Culp over at Culp Lights, and they are now included in our PPD Affiliate Savings Program. Mr. Culp is now part of the PPD Affiliate Group, and if you log into your PPD Club membership right now, you can go and find some interesting things that are only available for the next week or so, uh, just for PPD Club members, exclusive for PPD Club members. We did an entire video, you can watch it up there uh, on Tuesday. It was kind of a webinar, but an introduction to the announcement. And uh, 
a lot of exciting things coming from Culp Lights. So guys, that's everything I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Again, if you appreciate the videos we do here, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month, guaranteed. I know you're gonna love it. Or you have two other sequences that you can choose from, so that's why we call it the Triple Play. You get to pick from three different songs each and every month. Guys, thanks for joining us. We will catch you in the next video. Take care and I hope I get back to my regular studio. Bye for now.